Hi, I'm Taya Gurken with Peghead Nation, and that was a little bit of Banish Misfortune played in Dad Guy Tuning on this beautiful custom Thompson OM that I have here in the studio today. Uh, Thompson builds most guitars uh, with specific custom orders in mind, either directly for a customer or for a dealer. This is an example of a guitar that uh, they just built when they had an empty build slot. And um, as such, it's, uh, it's a guitar uh, that some of the uh, Thompson team sort of let their own creativity uh, let loose a little bit on. And it's a great example of a slightly modified but uh, fundamentally fairly traditional OM style guitar. Very quickly, this guitar uh, is built with an Adirondack spruce top, Madagascar rosewood back and sides. It has all the typical OM specs, includes a long scale, of course. As you can see, it has a slotted peg head, uh, which sets it apart from a traditional uh, OM style guitar, or really most 14 fret uh, Martin style guitars that uh, would typically have a solid peg head. And there's a few little design things that set it apart uh, from a standard um, uh, OM style instrument. So of course, Madagascar rosewood uh, is often considered to be one of the sort of premier uh, alternatives to working with Brazilian rosewood on especially vintage style instruments. And this guitar just has a beautiful, a gorgeous set of, of Madagascar. Um, I haven't seen as many people using Madagascar rosewood as I did a few years ago. Um, and uh, I do believe that the, uh, the wood has gotten a little bit more scarce to, uh, to work with, uh, to, to obtain. But uh, this is a gorgeous example, very evenly straight grain, beautiful sort of chocolatey color on this, uh, just, just really gorgeous. Same, of course, goes for the Adirondack spruce top, which as you can see features a uh, sunburst finish on this guitar. I think Thompson does a great job with their sunburst finishes. Uh, just beautifully book matched, um, great uh, uh, even grain, um, and just a, a really nice example of the type of materials that Thompson has at their disposal. As you would expect on what's fundamentally a 28 style guitar, we have an ebony fingerboard and bridge, and uh, we have uh, traditional diamond and square uh, fingerboard inlays. This guitar has Evo frets, uh, which I'm seeing more and more builders use. Uh, Evo frets are kind of between nickel frets and stainless steel frets in hardness. Uh, most people agree that they sound more similar to nickel frets than stainless steel frets do, but they do have the advantage of lasting a long time between uh, needing to be milled or even replaced. So Evo frets are a great option to think about if you're ordering a guitar um, and having them uh, in place in a guitar is just really a great thing. The guitar has grained ivoroid binding on both the fingerboard and the uh, body, both on the um, top and the back. And of course, having uh, uh, ivoroid or white binding in general on the uh, fingerboard uh, would be unusual for, for most OMs, um, other than, say, a style 35 or, uh, or above. Um, uh, but it really looks great, and it really sets apart the uh, black side dots very nicely, make them easy to see. Purfling on the guitar is uh, herringbone, and we also have a traditional style 28 rosette. And I really like this uh, multi-layered beveled uh, OM style pickguard. It's of course the traditional shape, uh, but instead of just being black or being tortoise, which is more common, um, it uses uh, its two layers, and there's a layer of white underneath the black, which you can see on the edges where it's beveled. And it's just kind of a unique touch uh, that I don't typically see on a otherwise fairly vintage style guitar, so I really like that. Of course, I mentioned the uh, slotted peg head. Um, in this case, uh, it's got Brazilian rosewood uh, overlay, the Thompson logo up here on the top, a uh, set of beautiful gold Waverly tuners, a um, uh, little bit of a volute in the back, and the, uh, the neck shape. Again, fairly uh, traditional feeling overall, one and three quarter uh, inch nut width here, um, and uh, string spacing of uh, two and three sixteenth at the saddle. And uh, the, the shape is what uh, Thompson calls their soft V or modified V. So, kind of in between what I would consider a vintage and a modern neck, uh, which is also reflected in the, in the string spacing, which is a little bit narrower than some vintage OMs would be, but uh, just super comfortable to play. 
Couple other details to mention are beautiful zigzag strip on the back um, of the of the instrument, um, and inside it's got the uh, advanced X bracing. Uh, of course, it's scalloped in a pre-war style, and just as uh, is the case with the top, the bracings make from Adirondack spruce. So you heard me play the guitar in dadgad tuning, playing fingerstyle in the intro to this video. And of course, OMs make fantastic fingerstyle guitars, both in terms of their tonality, their dynamic response, and also just the, the feel and the playability of the guitars. But they're also very versatile. So let me show you what it sounds like if I'm strumming it a bit with a pick, uh, giving an idea of, uh, of what it sounds played that way. So nice dynamic range, uh, definitely keeps developing volume if I'm hitting it a little bit harder with a pick. And uh, this is a brand new guitar, so the dynamic range of this is likely to get even larger than it already is. So really a wonderful example of a Thompson OM. Um, uh, perfect for someone who is basically looking for a traditional guitar, but with a little something that sets it apart uh, in terms of its looks and its construction. And uh, this really kind of fits the bill with a slotted peg head, a few of these little uh, cosmetic and uh, appointment adjustments, uh, and just gorgeous woods. Uh, this is really some of the nicest Madagascar I've seen in a while, and it works well with these sunburst top. So I think I'll go out playing a bit more fingerstyle on this guitar, uh, maybe I'll drop it down down into Orkney tuning with a low C uh, because the long scale can easily handle that. And um, we hope you come back here to Peghead Nation for more of our gear demos. My name is Taya Gherkin. If you are seeing this on, uh, on YouTube, uh, subscribe to our channel and also check out um, our courses, uh, both for guitar as well as many other stringed instruments. We'll see you very soon.